Hi, for today's sardine we have this uh, quite uh, long vintage aircraft instrument. So what is it this time? It is a gyro compass. Uh, as you can see in the front just an uh, indicator needle and a disc rotating with the compass directions. Little moving flag here on some kind of a press button here. The case is uh, barely 20 centimeters long in uh, hammered black uh, metal paint. And here is the information for uh, people playing at home. So it is made by the French SFIM company. And it is called a gyroscopic block. So we can expect a gyroscope inside this. Manufacturing date of uh, 1975, serial number 733. And here is the part number for you. Here is the cage number for the uh, SFIM company. And you can see regular multi pin connector with golden contacts. Looks like we have no modification fitted. And it is quite unusual, we have a blind not here keeping the cover in place, some kind of an adjustment here. So I will undo these nuts and I will be right back. Here we are. It is interesting to note that there is some kind of uh, rubber uh, ring inside the washers to make some water tightness. And actually the case is pretty hard to pull because of uh, the seal. Here we are. So, what do we have in this? Here we are. Uh, as you can see, three or four sections. We have this back one with a connector on the wiring. This one with obviously the gyroscope. Here some uh, middle piece, probably some kind of uh, synchro transmitter. And front part here with uh, more actuators. We will start from the back. Uh, maybe it will be more efficient like so. So it seems we have not a big deal of electronics in this thing. Actually you can see the wire harness here coming from the connector going to the front part. With here this kind of a terminal uh, piece, terminal connector piece, solder relay, something like this, wire relay piece. The little setting we had uh, Accessible from the outside is actually a potentiometer from Spectrol in Milano, Italy, so probably very nice quality. And the connector is from the Dutch company. Here we have a wire harness going to the gyroscope part on the to the front part. And on the first side of this gyroscope assembly, we have rotary contacts. I will try to zoom for you on them. Here we are. Okay. Uh, this is the main, most interesting side. We will have a look after. Here is just a plate for a bearing assembly. Oh no, here is the most interesting side, but in fact it is the same thing we, we see. So here is our gyroscope. Rotating in this axis. And inside obviously we have a wheel assembly rotating in an other axis, but it is barely impossible to reach it. As you can see, I can reach it from here. Oh, yes, it is rotating like such. Okay, so we will first have a look here. 
probably rotary contact here some uh, unknown little assembly here capacitor oversight with almost the same thing and uh, in here some um, circuit board with what seems to be a round hybrid circuit you will not be very interesting uh, wheel here there in a cone shape and so this one here and about the internal assembly the gyroscope wheel itself must be located in uh, in this we can see it through uh, holes here we have more contacts to go into the inside so probably to feed the uh, motor serial number here some kind of a serial number and actually it is a prisoner you cannot turn it anymore this must be a lead counterweight and this also uh, something weird I do not know what it is this rod here connecting the back panel to this frame seems to be made so of copper at least it is a copper color and uh, soldered to uh, brass standoffs not sure what it is doing so after we have in the middle one assembly which is totally impossible to reach except maybe here you can see uh, something is turning with numbers written on it Uh, most probably a synchro transmitter that will uh, transmit the uh, actual uh, position of this gyro as assembly and then we are down to the front part in which we have you can see when I turn the gyro it will turn actually the disc in the front like such through this uh, shaft here we have one uh, motor assembly which is called a uh, receiver of uh, tele affichage so remote display receiver something like that like this made in France by uh, there is no brand I guess it is moving the uh, needle indicator and here we have a little uh, solenoid actuating the little flag indicator which is this thing here we have a circuit board in the front I guess it is most probably for the backlight we must have some uh, lights bulbs somewhere here you can see odd shape Yes, there is probably one bulb here. And about the push button we have in here, it is actuating through this very complicated mounting just a micro switch. And it is actually all, so you can see we had a seal here, but it is pretty much gone. And uh, apart from the back uh, panel here, everything is made of uh, die cast aluminium. Very heavy construction, uh, this thing. And uh, very nice. We have also another terminal uh, strip here, interconnecting the wire looms from here to here. And here you can see a piece of uh, cord which is uh, wrapped around this uh, wire harness just to keep it in place quite uh, interesting design and here the wire harness uh, is attached with some uh, kind of metal jumpers which are tied into this uh, part Okay, I will not uh, take it apart any further because uh, 
mainly because of the uh, complicated wire harness and because of these rotary contacts which are probably very delicate so I got this item on uh, the French eBay this time for uh, 20 euros I guess it is not too bad oh, we have uh, Thompson CSF brand here so it looks like we have another synchro receiver in this side so you will uh, know the uh, orient position twice actually quite interesting and obscure uh, technology by the way nice little gyroscopic uh, assembly ok so thanks for watching bye bye